Hello, you wonderful people. In this video, we're going to take a look at an example and learn a little bit about Astro Actions. So first, I'm going to show you the demo. Then I'm going to show you how to set up and try this project out locally. And if you want to see the full complete tutorial of how to build those projects yourself, check out this Astro Action with vanilla JavaScript and Strapi 5 block that you can find in the description below. This will walk you through all the steps that you need to take to build this project absolutely from scratch. Learn how to use Astro Actions with vanilla JavaScript because you're gonna make it cool again. And for this project, we just recently released Strapi 5 RC, which is our release candidate. So this will give you a chance to try out Strapi 5. And for our front end, we're going to be using Astro, which is really amazing. And if you're watching this video, depending when you're watching it, we are going to have Ben Holmes joining us for a stream talking about Astro, which you'll be able to register it will be the first link in the description below. If you're watching this after the event, the recording will be available on YouTube. But with that being said, let's take a look at the demo of what we're going to do. So here I have my Strapi project, which has my signup form. If we take a look at the content type builder, we see that it just expects an email field and a Boolean that will be default to false just in case if you collected emails and you wanna see if you added them to the emailing list to confirm them, you could have that Boolean. But for us, the most important part is this email. And if we take a look on the advanced settings, we're saying that it's a unique value, meaning that you could only add only one email. And if you take a look at our user's permissions on the roles, we're making this endpoint available publicly. So anyone who clicks the form, this will allow our users of our websites to complete our email capture form. Taking a look here, let's try it out. So if I type paul.bratslavsky at strappy.io and click join, it'll say form submitted, thank you. And if we take a look in our content manager, boom, you could see that we are capturing our emails, which is fantastic. So let's see if I try to enter the same form again, it will tell me, no, this attribute must be unique because we did make this a unique field. So without any ado, let's see how to set up this project locally so we could walk through the code to see how Astro Actions work. You can find this repo on my GitHub, Paul Braslavsky slash Astro dash action dash with dash strappy dash five, but I'll put a link in the description below. Why am I repeating it? I'm going to go ahead and clone the repo inside of my computer. I'm gonna find a folder where I wanna pull this project. I'm gonna clone it. Once the project is cloned, make sure you CD into the project directory where you're gonna have our front end and our back end. We have some helpful scripts and one of them is Yarn Setup, which will go ahead and set up the front end and the back end for you. Once the project is set up, let's open it in VS Code first. And before we look at the code, let's start it up locally by running Yarn Dev. This is going to start both our front end and our back end. Our front end is going to live on local host and our Strapi application will auto start on port localhost 1337. So go ahead and create your first admin user. I'm going to do that now. Make sure you choose a very secure password, which is very important. Monkey123 is uncrackable, so that's what I'm gonna use. And now, if you take a look under Content Manager, you have your signup emails to enable this endpoint. And to enable our endpoint, we go to Settings under Users Permissions, Roles under Public. We're gonna, under Signup, make sure we enable Create and click save. And now in the front end application, we should be able to enter our email that we want to add, click join. We're gonna see form submitted and we take a look under Strapi in our content manager under signups and refresh. Boom, notice that we have our email. So finally, let's do a code walkthrough. Taking a look at our project, we're gonna spend most of our attention under our front end. We're gonna to navigate to our source folder 
and we're going to start with our actions. So taking a look at our action index, this is where I am defining an astro action. We're going to go ahead and call it email, use a define action method, and here we pass a couple of different things. The first thing we're gonna say, we wanna accept form data. For input, we're going to do SAD validation. We're gonna check if the email is a string, and if it's a valid formatted email, then we define our handler. Our handler will take our data that we get from our form data, which is gonna be our email that we send, and we're going to pass it to our mutate data function. All it is, is just a function that makes a call to our Strapi application and posts our data via our post request. Once we get our response, we are going to check if we have general errors. If something went wrong, we're just gonna return a message that says, oops, something went wrong, please try again. If we have a Strapi specific error, we're going to return a message called uh, fail to register. Or if there are no issues, we're going to say, hey, form submitted successfully, which is pretty cool. Taking a look in our project, we're going to now navigate to our pages, index.astro page, which is basically where we have our component that we're gonna use. And more importantly, let's take a look at this email form component where all the magic happens. So going to our components, email form component. So let's take a look here. All it is is our simple input field. This is what you see here. And here we're using the name attribute and we're setting it to email. This is what we're using to get our form data when we make the submit request. And here we have a basic button with a type submit. When you click on it to handle the event, we're actually using vanilla JavaScript. Here we have a couple of helpful functions. One is to clear a previous message to clear out our form. Here we have a message which basically will set the HTML with the message that we pass through. And we have a clear input function, standard vanilla JavaScript, where we're going to clear the input after the form is submitted. And we have a render message, which is going to specify which message to render to our UI. But more importantly here, if we take a look, we're just getting our form element via document that get element by ID, which is our email form. And we are getting the data from our form by creating a new form data and passing our form. And we are going ahead and calling our action that we created and passing our form data. When we make that action call, that's gonna go ahead and fire our action that we defined here as our astro action, which is pretty cool. Once we call the action, if everything is successful, we get our data. Otherwise, if we have an error, we're going to get our error that we could destructure and render to our users through this render message input. And in the error, we are using Zod, so we're able to say, check the fields for email and show what errors that we have and return that message. And with that being said, we could go ahead and test this out. When I type my email at strappy.io and click join, this data is taken from our input via our JavaScript, where we get the data from our form using JavaScript. Then we're passing our email to our Astro action, which will go ahead and make a post request to our Strapi endpoint. If everything is successful, it's going to return form submitted successfully. That is what we see here. And if we take a look at Strapi and refresh, notice we could see our email. If I try to resubmit the form again and click join, you see this error message. Where is this coming from? This error message is coming from Strapi. Taking a look in our actions, here you could see that we are able to get that error from Strapi, you could see here it says this attribute must be unique and we're returning the Strapi errors with the message here 
and taking a look at our JavaScript in our email form. When we call our action, we get this error object that we could pass that will have our strappy error, which will be rendered to our screen. But with that being said, we took a look how to use Astro Actions to submit our errors. You could find the code in this repo. Or if you want to build this example from scratch, you could check out the complete article on our website. Thank you for checking out this video. If you liked it, definitely hit the like button or let us in the comments other content that you want us to create. With that being said, Monday through Friday on Discord, we have strappy open office hours from 12.30 p.m. CST to about 1.30 p.m. CST time. So if you have a question or just want to hang out, definitely join us there. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.